performance of IDMT characteristics for microprocessor based over current relay. The main aim of this experiment is to plot the IDMT characteristics of the microprocessor based over current relay. The meaning of IDMT is inverse definite minimum time characteristics. You can see the apparatus required, you can see the specifications and you can see the procedure here. So the main heart of this experiment is the circuit diagram. Let us see the circuit diagram. You have two switches S1 and S2 connected to a single phase transformer connected to an ammeter with rheostat and rheostat is connected to the relay and relay is connected to the timer with NO and C switch. NO is normally open, C is closed and two supplies are given indicated with 13, 14 to the relay and P and N auxiliary supply to the timer. So this is the main construction of the circuit diagram. Now let us go to the conduction part of this circuit. So single phase transformer is connected to ammeter positive. You can see here this red color wire indicated single phase transformer to the ammeter positive. Ammeter negative to ammeter negative to you can see the yellow color wire it is connected to the rheostat it is connected to one end of the rheostat and rheostat other end is you can see this white color wire rheostat other end is connected to 21 21 and single phase transformer leaving end another end is connected to 22 with the black wire 22 with the black wire with the black wire so this is the connection of your single phase auto transformer with ammeter and rheostat connected to the relay box now let us see the connection of the timer with the relay box timer with the relay box you can see no and c normally open is no this is your normally open this is your normally open and this is your C. This is your C. So connect NO of the timer. This is the timer and this is the relay. Connect the NO of the timer to the relay. You can see the NO of the timer to the relay. Connect C of timer to the C of relay box. You can see these two connections NO to NO, C to C. Now S and S should be shorted in the timer. S and S is shorted in the timer. Next, let us come to the auxiliary supply. Auxiliary supply 1314 is connected 1314 of the relay. You can see the circuit diagram. 1314 of the relay is connected to the timer auxiliary supply. You can see here name auxiliary supply 230 volts AC. You can see the name auxiliary volts. 230 volts AC. Now see the connection. See the connection. The auxiliary 230 volts is given to 1314 of the relay. 1314 of the relay. And that is given to a separate switch. It is given to a separate switch S1. It is given to a separate switch S1. This is the main connection which you have to remember. Next, let us see the P and N. P and N. This is a phase connected to one phase connected to one phase of the supply and neutral. Neutral is also connected to one uh, neutral part of the supply. So these are about the connections of your microprocessor based over current relay. Now we will see the con uh, conduction part. So uh, this is the conduction part. Before starting conduction, you have to know the settings of this overcurrent and earth fault relay. It's very very important to know these connections. How to start this earth fault relay is press this button once. Press and keep a long press. Press your button and keep a long hand. Password change. I am not changing. Enter my password. One. Enter. 1, enter, 1, enter, 1, enter. So I have entered the password. Now this relay operates for 
over current relay as well as earth fault relay but i am performing my experiment only for over current relay so i have to change the settings of the over current relay this is your psm 1.5 psm phase current 1.5 is not holded then your status will go back again to the password change so you have to restart from first no we have to restart from first so password change no enter the password one again starting it i'm starting it from the starting setting point no see here your phase current corresponds to your psm so i am setting my psm as 1.5 1.5 and see here different curves can be plotted with this relay box i can go for normally inverse curve i can go for extremely inverse i can go for restricted inverse i can go for very inverse i can go for 1.3 seconds 3 seconds long time delay user defined but definite time but here i am going to plot normally inverse curve so i am setting normally inverse curve my tms is 1 1 time setting multiplier is 1 high set disable i am pressing no if i enable it my relay will operate for over as well as earth fault so i am disabling no now after this all the readings corresponds to your earth fault relay so just scroll the button enter enter don't change any values these all corresponds to your earth fault relay but i am conducting experiment for over current relay so go on pressing enter these are the settings which you have to do for the relay box earth fault relay box now i have set my psm to 1.5 and my rated current is 1 so 1.5 into 1 is 1.5 ampere my relay will sense it as a fault if the fault current is more than 1.5 amperes now how to create a fault here fault is created by an auto transformer fault is created by an auto transformer so how to create the fault i am creating a fault of i am creating a fault of 3 ampere in this ammeter by switching on the switch s2 by switching on the supply switch s2 you can see s2 has clone so increase the current increase the current make it to a fault current of 3 amps make it to a fault current of 3 amps you can see the ammeter reading is 3 amps when the ammeter reading is 3 amps you can see the relay box started glowing with l1 but what happens to the timer is timer have started ahead of the fault so the value which occurs here is not the accurate timer timing value so what you have to do is once the fault when it reaches from the ammeter to the relay box the timer will be tripped your relay will be tripped so at this point the timer should know the exact value at which your current reaches to 3 ampere but this is not the exact value so what you have to do is just wait till your timer reaches to for uh, to uh, normal condition wait and watch the timer till it reaches to normal condition now you can observe here 82.06 seconds is the time taken for 3 ampere current to reach to the relay box you can see here l1 has holded l1 has holded and here one more dot indicated the meaning of this is at 3 ampere the time taken is 82.06 but this is not the actual time the actual time is when the fault occurs the timer should start and relay should start so to get that exact time i am resetting this i am resetting this i am resetting this and i am switching off and i am switching off and i am switching off the supply of s2 you can observe here ammeter comes to zero position ammeter comes to zero position now switch on switch on
अब्जर्व द टाइमर अब्जर्व द टाइमर एल वन स्टार्टेड ग्लोइंग so you can see here l1 light indicated at 3.06 the relay is holded and the timer observed is 10.13 seconds so at this point at 3.6 amps the time taken by the relay is 10.13 seconds you can see the plug setting 1.5 that is your phase current and you can observe your relay current 3 3 amps is the relay current and your operating time is 16.95 here shown but there you have got 10.0202 10.02 so at different values of your relay current you have to perform the same experiment and note down the time i have done the tms at 1 i have to do the same way at tms point 8 and similarly at point 5 plug setting point 5 i have to repeat the experiment i have to repeat the experiment with all the steps and finally i have to plot the modal graph finally i have to plot the modal you can observe the modal graph in the modal graph you have to axis x axis is your relay current y axis is your operating time now you can observe the graph as your relay current increases the time taken by the relay will decrease and you are observing four characteristics you can see the top one it is extremely inverse characteristics you can see little bit bottom it is inverse characteristics and very inverse then definite so all the four characteristics together are called as id empty characteristics so from this experiment we are able to plot the id empty characteristics of microprocessor based overcurrent relay